Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is one of the greatest ideas to come out of the human mind. But what we observe in the diversity of life does not seem to be based just on the survival of the fittest there seems to be a self-created beauty for its own sake. Because Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is a process over a period of time could a deeper understanding of the nature of time explain this. Both the ancient Greeks and Sir Isaac Newton believed time was a thing in itself, but more important than this today we have Einstein's theories of relativity. In these theories time is more than just a measure of change of things happening because we have the dynamic geometry that forms the curvature of space-time. Energy and momentum of an object slows the rate that time flows forming time dilation and the curvature of space-time. This dynamic and interactive geometrical process must have existed before the evolution of life. Therefore the evolution of life within the universe must have been based on the momentum and dynamic geometry of this universal process. The dynamic geometry of this process would explain why life seems to have a mathematical base. In this theory the momentum and dynamics geometry of this process is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is continuously radiating like waves of electromagnetic radiation. We have an interactive or participatory universe because the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms an interactive process continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path. We see and feel this process of photon energy exchange as the continuum of time with an emergent future continuously coming into existence light photon by light photon with each new photon electron coupling or dipole moment. If this theory is correct we should be able to observe the same creativity and dynamic geometry in non-living things as we see in living things. And this is exactly what we see in this image from the International Space Station with a candle flame in near zero gravity forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the surface of the sphere. This is the same dynamic geometry we see in cell life with individual cells interacting with the movement of positive and negative charge across the membrane of the cell. The light photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force with the movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields, so we are seeing basically the same process. The evolution of life was not some cosmic accident. The momentum and dynamic geometry has always been written in structure of the universe. With life only ever being an infinitesimal potential of what it could be, and that will always be so. This potential can be seen in the infinite diversity of snowflake formation with no two snowflakes being identical. Environmental temperature variations in photon energy forms an infinity of snowflake diversity this potential can also be seen with the Fibonacci spiral being visible in nature and throughout the physical universe. This is not because of economy of growth, but because the Fibonacci spiral represents part of a dynamic universal process. At the most fundamental level this process can be explained as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. With the electron being the most spherical object in the universe, when the spherical symmetry is broken it forms the most beautiful of geometrical shapes with imperfect spirals being visible almost everywhere. We have the infinite nature of this potential because there are an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represent an infinite number of potential future timelines that form an infinity of possibilities.
This is within a universe made up of an infinite number of dynamic reference frames that are continuously interactive coming in and out of existence as a process of continuous energy exchange. Each reference frame has its own timeline from the past into the future with an emergent future unfolding photon by photon. A simple example of this is water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the flowing water. The interactive potential of this process can be seen with water being able to form the shape of any object that it is poured into. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. Another example is photosynthesis the scientific ability plant life has to use sunlight or photon energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Basically the entire trick of photosynthesis is to form a concentration gradient between positive and negative charge with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the plant with the movement of that charge. Therefore as the Buddha said, if we could understand an individual flower we could understand our entire universe. It is because this is a universal geometrical process that we see the same imperfect geometrical patterns in deep space as we see in nature. This theory does not change Charles Darwin's theory in any way. It just supplements it by another more deeper and fundamental process. This is not a new idea and was the view of the influential British Quaker scientist Edward Newman. In this theory Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is based on a physical process that can be explained by physics. Therefore the diversity of life is not based just on the survival of the fittest but on a universal creative process. Only a universal process could form the unity of physics and mathematics. The universe is a continuum of continuous creation therefore there is always potential. The uniqueness of every life form of every sunset can only be created out of a potential infinity of possibilities with creation being in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe and rate it will help the promotion of this theory.